Hello, everyone, and welcome to the online lecture for Chapter 11. In this chapter, our authors discuss the issue of ethics in leadership. Let's start by defining what ethics means. Ethics can be defined as standards of conduct or right behavior. And I'd like you to ponder this idea for a moment. Most of us have individual moral standards, but then there are also standards that are dictated by our society, by our culture, what we would call socially constructed standards of ethics. Here's what I mean. Most Americans would consider it unethical to pay a bribe in a business deal, but in some countries it's the standard. It's what's expected. So the paying of bribes might be an ethical choice in one context and not in another. Sometimes your personal moral standards might be in conflict with the contextual or cultural ethics of a situation, and this is how ethical dilemmas can arise. In this video, we'll consider some different perspectives on how you can deal with ethical dilemmas in leadership. Our authors discuss a number of ethical challenges that leaders face, and I'll give you an overview of some of them. Make sure you read the chapter carefully to understand these in detail. The first is information management, deciding who gets to know what and when. What if you decide somebody should know something, but it's against the rules for you to tell them? Or is it ever justified for a leader to lie? Those are some questions you might have to consider in the area of information management. Responsibility. Who is held accountable for what? You may have heard the phrase, the buck stops here, or that the leader is always the one accountable. Who is going to take the fall or the blame if things go wrong? Power, how and when do you use it? And what kind should you use in a given situation? We've spent some time discussing the various types of power, which ones you should choose and why. Privilege, as a leader, how do you distribute privileges and how do you use or abuse your own privilege? Loyalty, to whom do you owe your loyalty? And what do you do when loyalties conflict? For example, if you supervise a friend and you have to take a certain action as their boss, is your first loyalty to your employer or to the friendship? And consistency. Are you treating people as equals? Do you handle situations in a consistent manner? Do the same rules, rewards, and punishments apply to everybody? Does the same transgression get the same result from you as a supervisor? Our authors discuss some different ethical perspectives in this chapter, and if you've had a course in ethics before, you may have run across some of these. These ethical perspectives give a leader a guiding principle to follow in ethical dilemmas. I'll give you an overview, but again, the book contains more detailed information that you'll want to know. The first perspective is called Kant's Categorical Imperative. And this one deals with an absolute right and an absolute wrong. The idea that you should do what's morally right regardless of the circumstances. There's a right way to behave in a given situation and you should choose it regardless of any contingencies, even if it means negative consequences for you yourself. The next is utilitarianism. This is the idea that your choice should be what's best for the most people, the most followers. So the greatest good for the greatest number. Which choice is going to benefit the majority? The next is called justice as fairness. The guiding principle in decision making here is that you should treat everyone fairly. Virtue ethics is the idea that you can judge people by their character and that people with good morals are the most likely to make ethical choices. Now, the last two are easy to confuse, so make sure you understand the difference between them. Altruism is the idea of always putting others before yourself. The concern for others is the ultimate ethical standard. You may know people who behave this way. Make sure you understand how this is different from servant leadership, which is putting the needs of followers first. This is the principle that a leader 
places followers' needs ahead of their own. So it's like altruism, but specifically in a leadership context. They're not just putting everybody else's needs in front of their own. They're putting their followers' needs in front of their own. Concerning the relationship between leaders and followers in particular, okay? Altruism could be considered a more general ethical code, always putting someone else first no matter what, whereas leadership, servant leadership puts that into a leadership context, saying that the leader should put the needs of their followers first. So take a moment to think about how these different ethical perspectives would play out in different contexts, like politics, like family relationships, like the relationship between a teacher and a student. Be sure you can explain each one and that you understand different situations in which each of these might be the most appropriate one. That's a brief overview of ethics and leadership. Please read the chapter carefully, and as always, if you have any questions or problems, send me an email. I'll see you over in the next module.